finish in that race with those four horses. Did you feel confident that you had gotten the win? Uh, I thought she got stretched her neck out enough where, you know, she did. I was just sitting in behind waiting for something to open up, and she was very handy today and was gave me a good shot to do what I needed. The, the, the hole opened up, and she was fast enough to get there. Yeah, she showed a lot of courage. She uh, does. You know, that. like I said, she's a horse that tries very hard and <laughs> got a very deserved stake win today. What's the difference between, I mean, she's, she's had a lot of seconds, but now she's got the breakthrough stakes win. What was the difference? Today? I mean, you know, uh, she's she's been progressing very well, and obviously Brad and his crew's done a phenomenal job, and she's progressed right along, and, you know, she tries very hard, and obviously it shows. Just, uh, you know, I know you've had already had several wins this meet. Just talk about what it means to you to win a stakes race. You know, you know, obviously a big, big payout and everything. Oh, it's always good when you win a stake here. You know, especially this is the home base track for me. That's what I'm riding at now. But it always feels good to always win stakes. And a lot of times in Kentucky, these races can come up tougher than the purse money might. Absolutely. You know, it, a lot of very good horses stay here around this time of year the money's been better and obviously you should you see the quality horses that's been staying also so this is a Brad Cox trained horse correct yes so I mean you know you're getting quality when you get on one of those uh, they, all, they show up and they run that's a good thing you always have horses just put them in the right right place and they usually show up and do, get the job done just talk about the race and watching it and what you thought about it well, um, Sean did a great job saving ground around both turns, got a split, kind of had to make a split there between Phillies uh, down the lane. And um, you know, I think that's the trip she needs to win. We, Sean's rode her several times. She's, um, you know, had three seconds this year. It's been tough to get her to the winner's circle. But she, she pulled through today, and uh, it, was, it was a big effort. Very proud of her. And uh, like I said, he did, a, he, did, he did a great job riding her and saving ground around both turns and you're, getting you're, her head down. You're right that she um... – you know, she's had a lot of seconds, and um, in grass racing where you have a lot of close finishes, I guess sometimes it's just, but she, she made her own luck today. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Sean, Sean uh, like I said, did a great job, but uh, she, this filly's been doing well. She's always trained extremely well. We picked her up at the beginning of her three-year-old year, and, you know, we've had a couple setbacks with her, uh, and, you know, she, she's tough. We've had her along, we've had her probably off and on for about two and a half years now, so uh, she means a lot to us. She's a nice filly, and it was very big for her to get that, uh, that, that stake win with her pedigree, she's a, she's a half to a grade one winner. So, you know, she's got some big pedigree. She's a big, pretty filly. She cost a lot of money um, as, a, as a yearling. And, uh, you know, this is this was big to get this victory with her. Could you bring her back August 4th in the Kentucky very, Browns preview? You know, it, it, turf? it's possible. Uh, but honestly, um, you know, I'm probably going to give her a bit of time. We went, to, we went to Lone Star with this filly last month. And I intended on giving her maybe a little more time than this. But she was training really well. And... Over like the last, I'd say week, 10 days, I kind of thought, you know, throw in here. And I had, a, I had a lot of Phillies nominated to this race, and I was pointing a couple others. One, one in a couple had setbacks and opted to go other spots with a few of them. But um, we nomin nommed a bunch to this race. We ended up with just this one at work. And uh, it, like I said, it was big for the connections to get this uh, stake one under this mare's belt with her, with her, uh, with her pedigree. Well, how about then going for a graded stakes, perhaps at Kentucky Downs? Oh, it's definitely in the yeah, it's definitely in the cards. Uh, she has some experience there. She ran there as a uh, three-year-old, I believe, um, uh, and she ran a really good second. So uh, she's got some experience over. There. I think that's something you need at Kentucky Downs, either train there or have a run over the track. Never hurts. Uh, so it's definitely something we may look at. Just you know, going straight from here to that or here to there, and skipping the race on August fourth. Last year you ran away with the trainer's lead after a slow start. This year off to a real fast start. Yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> Steve asked me, he's as good as they get. He's the best in the business, and, um, you know, he, he's, he's going to make it He's gonna make it tough on you. He watches everything, and he's he's competitive, and so are we. And, you know, it, it, we've got off to a great start, very proud of what our team's accomplished here, um, and hopefully it continues throughout the summer.